While where two young people seen in a leaked sex video shared on social media have been picked up by some residents and paraded at the forecourts of the Warnes Palace and flogged publicly, the decision to deal with such persons by the elders of the town came up when such incidents of indecent exposure on social media among the youth of the town became rampant. According to the elders, Islam frowns on such acts and the motive was to serve as a deterrent to other young persons from engaging in such acts in war. Meanwhile, the Wana's Palace and some residents of the community have been reacting to the public flogging of the two youngsters. It's unfortunate that uh, I am not one of the eyewitnesses of the unfortunate incident. I was at school and somewhere around 1 p.m., uh, some colleague teachers of mine drew my attention to what was going on in social media. And then uh, when I looked into some of the phones, I saw that this uh, video portraying the said two lovers being flopped in the palace was uh, the case. So I uh, quickly had to make calls to the palace to find out what occasioned the incident. I was told that some youth came in with uh, these two victims and alleged that there were people who had engaged in sexual misconduct. Overlord wasn't around, and if he was not around, uh, how would it have been at his instance? But uh, on the whole, I would want to think that uh, we as youth growing up in society should learn to live reasonable and responsible lifestyles. Uh, let us do what is uh, modest, what is acceptable in the eyes of the generality of the society. I think that the rate at which these uh, sex tapes are being leaked in the uh, municipality is, is very bad and it's not in good taste at all. And so for that matter, in order to curb these activities in the municipality, the uh, overlord of the Wada traditional area last year instituted some bylaws to uh, bring to an end. Let's speak to a journalist in Wa, Ibrahim Abubakar Wangara. Thank you so much for your time. First of all, who gave the directive that the two young people be flogged in that manner? Yes. Um According to the people who flocked the two young uh, people, was said that the directive came from the overlord of the Wala traditional area. Mm. Now, the same is here to teleport their fort. Mm. Was this in agreement by the community? Well, uh, for the agreement, I think it's a misreaction. Uh, though most of the people agree that people caught in that act should be flogged. But uh, many of them are also of the view that the manner in which those two young people were flopped wasn't their best. Mm. So people are having issues with the manner in which they were handled. Mm -hmm. Ibrahim, where are the two young people now? What is their condition? Yes, at the moment uh, they are doing well and uh, there's no further punishment going to be meted out to them. But they were later left off the hook to continue their daily activities. So mm. they are, as we speak, at their various houses. All right. Thank you so much for your time. Ibrahim Abubakar Wangara is a journalist in WA. Well, this is an issue that we're keeping an eye on as uh, the minutes tick by. Stay with us in our subsequent bulletins. We'll give you some details on it. But the body